right through it. We are welding and we are getting ready to weld up the top rail. Yeah, the big boy up there. Before we get started, we're gonna take a little poll. Who do you think is actually going to weld it? Eric or myself? Not and me. do you think it's gonna come out good, mediocre, or terrible? Put your comments down below before you continue watching. And then you can see what everyone's thoughts were on this whole ordeal. I would also like to take a moment to introduce dun, 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 our MIG welding spool gun. It's a Lincoln Electric brand. And I would like to thank all of my GoFundMe trailer supporters and all of my patron supporters. Your money has gone towards this spool gun right here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Without that, probably take a lot longer to build this trailer. I would also like to take a moment to dedicate this video to all of the ladies out there. Sometimes it's okay to go out and try something new and broaden your talents. Because quite literally, if I can do this, you can do this. So, to all of you ladies, this is for you. So didn't they say you have to push it instead of pulling it? Or do you pull instead of push? Push. This problem I heard people have when they first start doing aluminum is this wire will burn back and get caught in the tip. And I don't touch it to the metal, right? That's what's going to start the arc, yeah. I do have to touch it? When you pull the trigger and that wire touches the metal, it's going to create your contact. So you started out good right here, and you're just kind of like sawzalling through it. Yeah, but... Let me try it once. Yeah, because you want some overlap, like, okay. instead of going right down the seam, you got to get on, like, both sides of the seam a little, so you do a little circle. Okay. I started. See how I was burning through it? Burn, 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 burn. I burned through up there and I burned through down there initially. And then we turned the wire ski down. No, maybe that one was mine. I did this right here. Okay, so then that one was mine, yeah. Alright. I got a new chunk of metal strapped up here. Um, these were some of Eric's practice welds yesterday. I think this was his last one that he did right here. But that's pretty good. I'm gonna start right here. This weld was from a guy at Eric's work. These were his practice welds on their machine. So I'm gonna... All right, I think we're ready to go. Uh, day two, I am excited. So uh, again, this was my first attempt. We should give it a go and see how it goes. I can't really bail 
gloves on here and use my hand to balance because all of these welds are so hot still. It's literally going right to my glove. Kind of interesting because you can see a lot of the burn through on this. So this is the back of the sheet. You can see how some, a lot of these went all the way through. Um, the concern had been that it might not be penetrating the metal enough, but as you can see on the back of this, it obviously did. Eric has rigged up. Um, this is actual material from the curved rail up there that's going to have to be welded, and Eric went through and cut it into sections and then pushed them back together. Is this supposed to be far apart like that? Just... I wanted you to practice with a bigger gap. Okay, that's what I was wondering. So we're going to go ahead and give that a whirl. I've got my... Um, welding jacket that one of my subs sent to me so it's not very fashion friendly but it works and it will keep sparks off my coat because it is cold so I have to wear a jacket Right there, I'm slowing myself down. Right here isn't too bad, but um, you have to change the angle differently because of the angle of the metal. It's not getting in quite as deep. All right, so Eric tried an experiment where he preheated the metal with the torch first and then ran it down, and it resulted in this right here. I'm not going to touch it because I'm sure it's still it's, pretty yeah, hot. So, hot. so look how nice that looks. Now flip it over. So here you can see the penetration. This was all of that. The other ones we did, there was very little penetration going through the metal. Consensus is preheating the metal definitely works. Because we have such a small welder. Be yeah, because the welder, this is a 110. 110 volt. I, I got that right, right? Yeah. 110 amp. Uh, yeah. Alright, so the settings he had it on is a uh, 6, and obviously we have to keep it on D as hot as it'll go. So, anyway, so that has been our adventure. The welds are looking good. I might have Eric um, do the seams at the top up there if his welds continue to look way better than mine. I mean, that's just perfect right there. Look at that. That's like professional. So Eric left me alone to weld this myself. Um, I'm not nervous about welding it, but I am nervous about the fact that I'm standing on a ladder right now and uh, the welding's got some kick to it. Hopefully I won't fall off the ladder trying to weld this because that would be, that's actually my concern. So this is what Eric has put together. All right, see that? Now I'm supposed to start from here and work my way up. And then Eric will come through and take this clamp off and then I'll do the rest of it. Not to mention uh, the ladder's not the most stable. And I have this uh, thing sticking me in the chest. Oh, heaven help me. This is not a good situation. Did I tell you that I'm scared of heights? I'm scared of ladders, like deathly afraid of ladders. Give this video a thumbs up if you have not already because letters suck. Two hours late. 189, the other one's The problem is because when I see the pool, it's when this side is starting to pool, but this side is already burning through on that crack side. Alright, so uh, this is the mess I made. Um, so you can see the welds weren't quite penetrating right here when I first started because this side wasn't hot enough. Um, this metal here is rolled and this is cast. 
so the rolled aluminum, even though they're the same thickness, um, this is not holding heat nearly as well as this. So it's harder to heat up, and once it's heated, it loses it very quickly. You probably can't see it very good on the camera because of the angle, but this side is flatter than this side. This side's clearly thicker because the metal is already cooling off. And then this cluster crap up here, there was actually a big jaggedy crack right up here around like a hole. So um, I kind of had to stagger fill that in. So yeah, we can always grind that down. You can't even see that from the ground, so not a huge deal. But oh yeah, look at it. I'm a puppet now. So this was my solution to be able to touch the metal because now, look at this. I can balance my hand on the hot metal and not burn myself. This is a good solution um, to be able to hold it steady while not burning my hand. I know. All right, so this is what I did the first round. And then this is my second round. Um, it does need to be scraped down. So once we scrape it down, it'll look a lot better. I could always go, oh gosh, you're scaring me. I could go through and grind it a little bit too, but the biggest thing is, is it penetrating in the back? Um, honestly, I can't tell, but based on the fact that it's not setting up very hard, we saw uh, practice wells. So these should have penetrated um, enough to get down in there. It's not gonna blow out the back, but enough to get through this one, definitely through this one for sure. Put your comments down below. Did I do as good as you thought, better than you thought, or worse than you thought? Put it down below. made a big hole right there. I did not make a big hole. It was a tiny hole. That was a big hole. It was not a big hole. I'll show you a big hole. Well, it started falling out with the heat. You can't grind that off before I look at that. You are cheating on every oh, aspect. Geez. Yes, you are. Oh, Guys, there. this is... Okay, Suzanne started right here. And it was a step ledge with a big gap between it. See that spot? She started right there and made a big hole. I didn't make a big hole. It was like literally so then, a tiny hole. So then, after I got that hole filled in there, then I started up here, and then I finished. Go back over it and try to make it a little prettier. So to fix that hole she made, you kind of have to hit the edge like Blurp, you have to blurp the throttle like. Yeah. Blip, blip. So if you guys have any tips or tricks on welding aluminum horizontally, put it in the comments down below. Here's some of Eric's other welds. Holding up some cracks on the structure. And this is what he finally ended up with. We went through and ground it down and then we welded over the top. Yeah. 